and it's another one game i'm taking you from this to this in this a slick ponytail hair tutorial i'll be showing you two things how to achieve your slick ponytail and the best method on getting your thick hair into a ponytail we're gonna go ahead and get started with Kalia in these week old twists this is a style that i do pretty much every time she does a wash day this is the style that i use in between her styles that are more extensive like her knotless braids or when i press out her hair this is my go-to style it is minimum work it lasts for at least a week or two and this is how what helps keep her hair growth and retention this is a very minimum style. So we're taking these twists out. I'm going to brush out as much as this lint as possible. And then we're going to fluff, 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 fluff because we love big voluminous hair on this channel. So while we're going through this tutorial, I decided to go ahead and give y'all a quick story. I think that's going to be my thing now. Tutorials and a story. So anyways, let's start with a, a Christmas story since this is a vlogmas. We're doing 25 days of vlog videos. I am currently getting Kalia ready for our Christmas pajama photo shoot real quick. So this year I decided to like really go out with the decorating. I can't wait to show you guys. So outside my house, I have the reindeer theme. Like I am, if you have not guessed, a very big um, itinerary person. I plan literally everything out. Like it's just no, it's just, I, I do. That's just my thing. I have planners for days. So. I have planned to do this reindeer theme, Christmas trees everywhere, lights everywhere in the front yard, right? Okay, cool. So I pretty much tell this to everybody so everybody knows what I plan on doing for my Christmas theme. And you cannot deter me from my Christmas theme. Like if it's set, that is it, it is done for. But no, here comes my dad. Oh, well, I wanna get the girls something to put out in the front yard. And I'm just like, mm, okay, but I ain't paying much attention because he does tell me a lot of things. I thought it was one of those days he was rambling. But no, he comes to pick up the girls and brings back these Mickey Mouse blow up dolls. You know, those Christmas blow up things that they put out in the front year. Oh my goodness, I think those things are absolutely tacky i'm sorry it's just me it's my opinion be mad if you want to so anyways um he brings back these mickey mouse up blow up dolls and i'm just kind of like looking at him like oh okay so you're gonna put those in your yard right and he was just like no no the girls want this you could put it out in your front yard you said you were going to be decorating this year you know just find a nice little spot for them and i looked at him like Sir, no, 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 no. Nowhere in my planner, in my itinerary, in my design of what I was doing for Christmas, was there a Mickey Mouse and a Minnie Mouse blow up doll? No, sir, no, sir. So how about we take these to your house? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, if you really want the girls to have this wonderful, you know, ornament out in the front yard, please, by all means, take it to your house. And he lives like literally around the corner from me. The girls can walk to his house if they wanted to. They they can walk by and see Mickey and Minnie chilling out in his yard. He was like, no, no, you're just being selfish. You can give the girls a little spot or a little corner in the yard. You got plenty of yard. Sir, it, don't, it ain't got nothing to do with how much yard I got. You are absolutely right. I'm pretty sure they could fit somewhere, but they don't fit nowhere in my planner, okay? They fit nowhere in my itinerary, in my design. I am an interior, I am an artist. You do not give me Mickey and Minnie Mouse dolls and expect me to just fit them into my canvas I will not I will not it goes with nothing I am doing my theme is reindeer this year there is there's nothing reindeer about Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse now maybe if he had purchased a Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer 
you know what, I'm lying. If he even would have bought that, I would have been like, heck so no. So right now, as we speak, me and him are battling over me putting up these ugly Mickey and Minnie Mouse blow-up dolls. And I know y'all probably gonna be like, oh, you could have did it for the kids. You could have did, they're your daughters. No, 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 no. You have to understand, when Christmas comes around, I am the decor queen, okay? Everything has been planned out since Halloween, okay, people? I am not going to just all of a sudden give in. No, 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 no. I'm such a stickler about my Christmas decorations that I have a total of eight Christmas trees in my house, around my house, everywhere decorated, okay? A total of eight. And I might add some more by the end of this year. You better hope I don't. But with that being said, out of all those eight Christmas trees, the girls have their own Christmas tree to decorate any kind of way they want to. That way, they don't come touching my stuff. Because I don't believe in kids decorating Christmas trees. Not in, not in my house. So you know what I do? I buy them their own little small Christmas tree, their own personal Christmas tree. It goes up in their room. They can light it up from sun up to sun down. Put all the tacky ornaments they want to. Put any kind of color. I do not care. They have the ornaments hanging off the branch. I don't care where they place them ornaments. But they will not touch my other six Christmas trees. So I'm sorry, back to the tutorial. So my best method on pulling Kalia's hair all into a ponytail, I can't use a hair tie and put it on the regular way. So I kind of have to like wrap that sucker around and then loop it if you haven't been watching. And that is how I get her hair all into this ponytail because my God, if I tried to just do it the regular traditional way on how to do a ponytail holder, there's no way that it would be this slick and this, you know, um, nice and slick back by doing that it, it's just it's just not gonna work it's just hard enough trying to get all that hair do you see how big those freaking hair ties are most of the time there's no way I'm gonna get all of that hair you see all that hair in the back of her head through a, a hair tie there's no way so I have to kind of like tie it and loop it around and then I tuck the other end of the hair tie after looping it through each other and I just tuck it under what's already there. And then I'm gonna take a piece of her hair and wrap that all around. So I have to break down her hair in literally three sections in order to achieve this look. But my gosh, that slick back ponytail is the cutest. I love doing slick back ponytails on my girls, Lonnie included. But Cal is the most difficult because she just has such voluminous curls. Although we love and embrace the volume on this channel, it can be very difficult when trying to achieve any kind of slick back look. So this is the quickest, most easiest way to do a ponytail on such thick, gorgeous hair and how to get your hair tie to wrap around it without popping them. There you go, sis. But back to my Christmas story. So, um, yeah, the Mickey Mouse dolls are still sitting in the garage. They probably will sit there. They, they they'll just probably be sitting there. I, cause I don't, I don't see. I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot put that mess and mix it in with what I already. I just, I can't do it. My father should know by now. He should know better than to bring some tacky mess like that to my house and expect me to just go with it. Not at all, not at all. But I'ma continue meditating on it and you know, praying about it. Maybe I'll give in on Christmas day. I might, you know, blow them up for a couple of hours for them just to say that I did it for them. But that that's probably the most they're gonna get out of me. There's just no way, I can't, I can't do it. I'm sorry y'all, y'all can roast me in the comments all you want to. Bye.